Virtual systems ready. What's up guys, it's me XPC with a super, super huge announcement. Just almost two hours ago, Warner, Brother, Warner Brothers came out with their statement that they're going to now finally revive Young Justice for another season. And I was just I was just chilling on Discord when my friend Light he at me. He said that he that it uh, Young Justice is now confirmed for season three. I was like, oh, you have to be kidding me. Then I go on the forums where there was a post made. I watched the video, and it's a it's an actual thing. It's there's a poster and everything, and I I can't believe this actually happened. I thought this could never happen because you know Young Justice is DC's thing and there hasn't been like any DC revivals other than Teen Titan which like Cartoon Network did and I think Car I didn't think Cartoon Network would give up like the rights to do this but it somehow happened you know um thank god it happened cuz like Greg Wiseman the executive producer on the show he said that if we get at least like if we get a lot of people to watch Young Justice on Netflix season 1 and season 2 it it, it could possibly be revived and then I was like okay maybe that could like never happen and I was like and I thought to myself okay maybe it could happen maybe it couldn't and I saw like a bunch of people watching it I watched it a couple times two one two see season one and two I love I still love this sh I love this show so much and to see this actually happen is just amazing um so might as well see tell you guys what happened in season two so well, by the way spoilers you know I'm going to put a big spoiler warning. So, like, at the end of Season 2, Kid Flash has lost his life. He's he's gone. He just, he just got vaporized in the, um, in the chrysalis, and, um, the, in the chrysalis itself. Uh, and then, at the end of it, uh, we get to see Darkseid for the first time and Vandal Savage. So, Vandal Savage has been, like, one of the, the main villain of... The entire show and to see him teaming up with dark side yeah it's 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 gonna get it's gonna get it's gonna get crazy so that's where Cartoon Network left us off at the at 2013 I believe and then once season two was over I thought we wouldn't get a see we were gonna get a season three but then Warner Brothers and Cartoon Network decided to pretty much cancel the show because of the lack of toy sales and yeah, I, I don't the toy sale like nobody. Okay, I don't think anybody would buy the toys. And personally, I wouldn't buy them, but that's just that's just me. Um, but yeah, they canceled the show because of really poor toy sales. And but the show was critically very good. It was critically acclaimed. It was a really good show, and um, it ran for t it. It was a I, that's all I can say. It was a good show. It ran for two seasons. And you know everybody loved. It. There was a good fan base too. A lot of people loved it. So I'm just gonna read the article that was posted. It says, <clears throat> "Young Justice fans, it's time to celebrate as Warner Bros. Animation has announced the season is returning for a long hoped for season three. WB Animation notes that more details, including where the new episodes will air and a premiere date, will be revealed later. But production is now beginning on the third season, which promises new twists, turns, and dangerous new threats for the team. But most importantly, the opportunity for fans to finally continue the adventures of some of their favorite superheroes, like Nightwing, Robin, Kid Flash, and, well not Kid Flash, sorry, Impulse, <laughs> Miss Martian, Aqualad, Superboy, Beast Boy, you know. And also says, <clears throat> The affection that fans we have had for Young Justice and the rallying cry for more episodes has always resonated with us. You said Sam Register, president of Warner Brothers Animation and Warner's Digital Series, in a statement, We are excited to bring the show back to this loyal fan base and to provide an opportunity for new viewers to discover this excellent series. So, original Justice, Young Justice produces Brandon Vetti, who made Batman Under the Red Hood and Superman Dooms Doomsday? By the way, they're really good DC movies. Go, go, just go watch them. And Greg Wiseman, who has done Star Wars Rebels, Gargoyles, and Spectacular Spider-Man, which is another show I really, really love. Spectacular Spider-Man is one of my like top five shows. It's it's up there. 
centered on young DC com comic heroes like Robin, Superboy, Aqualad, Artemis, Kid Flash, and Miss Martian. The Young Justice's first two seasons aired from 2011 until 2013 on Cartoon Network. Despite critical acclaim and a passionate core fan base, the series was cancelled, with Wiseman eventually confirming reports that disappointing sales for tying Young Justice toys were a major factor in the decision. In the years since Young Justice ended, and with its availability on Netflix still gaining its new viewers, many fans have noted how much they'd like to see it return, with Wiseman often echoing their statements on Twitter. Warner Bros. Animation's official synopsis reads, In Young Justice, the te teenage superheroes of the DC Universe come of age in a world of superheroes, supervillains, and super secrets, used strategically as a secret covert weapon of the Justice League. Nightwing, Robin, Aqualad, Kid Flash, Superboy, Miss Martian, and a host of others strive to prove, prove to their legendary mentors, as well as to themselves, that they have what it takes to be heroes. So, it's... I'm pretty hyped for it, you know, Young Justice is a show that deserves a revival, it deserves this, so, <laughs> Cartoon Network, <laughs> I hate you so much right now, Cartoon Network, you suck, but, um, it, I'm, I'm, I'm just super hyped that this is happening, you know, I'm just, I can't wait for, like, the new episodes to come out, which will probably take, like, a few months to a year, you know, because of the concepts and animation and the voice. You even have to bring the voice actors back. And the voice actors said themselves, like, like, Yuri Lowenthal and, I forgot, I think it was Jesse McCartney as well. They tweeted on their Twitters. They said that they were, they're gonna, they're willing to come back and voice their characters. And I can't, and maybe they might introduce some new characters like Starfire, Cyborg, um, Raven, because they already have, like, two out of the five Titans in there. You know, Nightwing and Nightwing slash Robin and Beast Boy. So, yeah, I'm super hyped for it. Can't wait. And, um, yeah, that's uh, good news for you guys. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my video. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. And game on.